Hello, we already discussed raw developing settings and tools in previous videos. It's time for practice. In this tutorial, I will be developing raw images from different cameras with 3D LUT Creator. Let's start with this photo. This is how it appears right after opening in 3D LUT Creator. It has the right color and soft contrast. The photo was taken with Nikon D600. The light here is very soft because it was a cloudy day, so I'm going to increase contrast and saturation. I will increase exposure a little and here it is. The photo has very smooth tonal transitions. Raw editors often produce dirty colors in the shadows, but it looks okay here. Let's move on to the next photo. This image was taken with Nikon D750. The photo has pretty strong contrast. I'm going to decrease the exposure until I get details back on the skin. For example, like this. Now it is time to raise the contrast. I will move the center of the contrast curve towards the shadows to lighten them up. I will set up blacks. Please note that the image was initially quite washed out in color with bleached out highlights. There is a camera's white balance here. I just tweak the contrast with exposure and everything looks fine. Let's increase saturation a little. Additionally, if you need to lighten the shadows up, you can use curves. I am using black curve or K channel curve of CMYK2 color space. Here is a photo without a curve, and here is one with it. At the end, I have the bright autumn photo. I will reset the settings and load the next photo, which was sent by the user with the nickname, It's Me. The photo was taken with Canon R. I'm going to increase the contrast and make the shadows brighter. I will raise saturation and adjust blacks. Here's the result. I'll load another photo sent by the user It's Me. It has higher contrast. There are details in the background. By the way, if you want to check raw image for details in shadows or highlights, just look at before version of the photo. This is how it looks. I'm going to bring back the details in the highlights. I'll lower the exposure, raise the contrast, and move pivot slider to the left. I will increase saturation and adjust blacks. There are chromatic aberrations in the photo. I will remove them with the color grid. There are purple aberrations left over. I will also remove them. Despite the fact that there were knocked out highlights in the photo, I fixed them without using luminosity masks. I will also raise the contrast with master curve. For example, like this. And finally, I will develop a photo with a very contrasting scene. Before I load it into 3D LUT Creator, I'll choose a color space with a large gamut in the area of saturated colors. Raw Pro Photo. This is how my image appears when loaded into 3D LUT Creator. It is a photo of the rising sun shot with a telephoto lens with Fujifilm X-T2. Even if I decrease the exposure now, I won't get the color I want and smooth color transitions in the sky. Therefore, here I'm going to do the trick that I talked about in the previous video dedicated to the tools for developing raw images in 3D LUT Creator. I'm going to change the cutoff level of the camera sensor. I'll click on this field and choose white color here. Well, it looks like a dawn now. I will decrease exposure and adjust contrast. There is a big piece of ice at the bottom of the frame, so I'm going to make it bluer with the help of double grid. I'm holding Alt key and setting the border between highlights and shadows. The lower grid affects shadows and the upper one highlights. Let's make the shadows colder. I can brighten the shadows with curves. I will set up blacks and here is the result. Let me develop this photo in Lightroom for comparison. This is how it looks when opened in Lightroom. Decreasing of the exposure won't end well here. 
I need the yellow color rather than the orange one. Therefore, I will need to find appropriate color profile. I will choose Vivid Profile. This is the most color saturated camera profile for Fuji cameras. I want to restore details from the brightest areas using Highlight Slider. A yellow halo forms around the sun. Actually, in general, it is difficult to get more details here. I will brighten the shadows. The shadows are too violet, so I'll adjust the white balance. Let's compare it with what I did in 3D LUT Creator. I'll make the white balance a little warmer. I wouldn't say that in Lightroom I can see more details in the highlights, even though Lightroom uses tonal mapping tools. In addition, in Lightroom, I got a yellow halo around the sun, trying to squeeze over exposed areas. While in 3D LUT Creator, the color transitions look smoother. I will raise the saturation a little. 3D LUT Creator doesn't have tools like highlights and shadow sliders in Lightroom. But despite this, it can be used to develop highly contrasting scenes without fear of losing details in shadows and highlights. Also, do not forget that you can save this development in the LUT. Load the LUT into an adjustment layer and assemble your mini RAW converter in Photoshop. I'll show you how to do this in the next video. Bye everyone!